Hello, welcome to another video. So this is another limit problem and there's something special I want to tell you about this. It is recommended and highly recommended that you know how to write E um, in its limit form because it will save you um, when you see some expressions you could easily tell what the answer is going to be. And let me just give you a quick hint. If you see this kind of expression and the number here is not 1, then you have two possible answers. It is either zero or infinity. Just know that. Okay, it's either you get zero or you get infinity. And let's say the number is less than one. It's a proper fraction or a decimal. Then what you have is zero. You'll always get zero. And there's a way you can see that if you play a, um, um, a lot with this numbers with these numbers. Now, if the number here is slightly greater than 1, even if it is 1.0000001, you're going to get infinity automatically. But as long as this number remains 1, no matter what you do to the rest of this expression, you're going to get something in terms of e, either as a smaller version of e or a bigger version of e. So it's important that you just know how to write e based on this definition. And that's what I want to show you. Let's say that our definition of E is the limit as X goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over X raised to power X. This you have to know. You can write it this way or you can flip these two so it's the same thing as the limit. When you flip these two because as this goes to infinity, this expression goes to zero, you can say it is as X goes to zero of 1 plus x raised to power 1 over x. You can see how I just changed the two. Okay, I changed this to infinity, this to zero. Just pick one of these and make sure that it's something that you always think about every time um, you think of e. And this can easily be written as the x root of 1 plus x. So this is the same as this. So Try and have a good picture of it, a good picture of this, a good picture of this, a good picture of this. These are all the same. So when you get a question, just look. Remember, you see how consistent the one is. That's when you get E. If it is not E, I mean, if it is not one, then you're going to get infinity or you're going to get zero. Okay, but any modification of this gives you a multiple of E or a form of E. So let me show you what you do. Your focus should be first on this whenever you're trying to find a limit with this expression. The only way this makes sense as e is if what you have here is 1 over x. But as you can see, what you have is not 1 over x, it's 2 over 3x. So we're going to do a substitution because we need to replace this guy with something that looks like this. Don't worry about this because we can modify the exponent. This is what we need to work on. So we can say let so in answering this question, um, let's put this in a box because we don't need this right now. Okay, we're going to say let, um, let's pick a letter, let's say 1 over t be equal to 2 over 3x. Okay, so it means our limit that we're about to calculate will become 1 plus 1 over t. Okay, which is going to look like this. So. Um, what do you think um, x is going to be? If this is our 1 over t, we can say this implies that 3x equals 2t so that x equals 2 over 3t. Okay, good. So that's what we have for x. So we're going to go here and say, therefore, we have the limit as x goes to infinity. But what happens as x goes to infinity, where does t go? Definitely t also goes to infinity because if you look at this, or we can say um, also t, which implies t equals 3 over 2x. So as you see, as x goes to infinity, this also goes to infinity. So we can rewrite this expression as t goes to infinity because x goes to infinity, t also goes to infinity. And then we can say um, this is 1 plus now, remember, we've replaced 2 over 3x with 1 over t. But now, 
we have to write x, this 5 over 6x, in terms of t. Oh, we said x is 2 over 3t. So this will be 5 over 6. Instead of writing x, we're going to write 2 over 3t. And now see what this is. This is now the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over t raised to, what do we get here? How do we simplify? 2 cancels out 2 here, so you have 5 over 9. We're going to have 5 over 9t. Which is the same thing as the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over t raised to power t raised to power 5 over 9. Do you see that? Now we know that this is e from this definition. You see this? Is e. So this is equal to e raised to power 5 over 9. No L'Hopital's rule, no differentiation, no natural log. All you did was just simple substitution and you generated what e is and now you have what your limit is. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.